And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Spider Swain. That's right, this is a pretty interesting deck from uh, the Twitch Rivals tournament. I kind of blanked on the name there for a second. From yesterday, this was Evangelion. That's hopefully that's uh, somewhat correct. Evangelion <laughs> uh, played this deck and also played the uh, Twisted Sin deck that we're going to be playing up next. But yeah, basically we're we're uh, pairing, uh, we're kind of going with like a Swain control deck with um, with some spiders. You know, having uh, the spider package to help out early, kind of like Karina control if you kind of think of it like that. Um, Evangelion. Okay. Evangelion. Hopefully that's it. Um, but yeah, you know, but then also going with, uh, you know, so a lot of the same Shadow Isles cards as, uh, especially early on, is like a Karina control. But, you know, Swain does, you know, Swain levels up for non-combat damage. And some of the best non-combat damage spells that we have are Grasp of the Undying, Draining 3, and Withering Whale can do a lot of damage and heal 3 also. So we're kind of letting those cards help uh, level up Swain. We also have the box, just one of these, that can do a lot of damage to level up our Swain. And then the other thing that we get with Shadow Isles with that is we get Rekindler that can bring Swain back. I'm a big fan of that. So we have this pretty sweet top end of Swain, Rekindler, and Leviathan, which is pretty awesome. And I guess that's not enough 8 drops, so we also have a Rasa in here that can get some people. It does look a little weird only playing two Brood Awakenings, to be honest. Kind of wonder if we should have the third one of those over the Rasa. Um, but again, I, I like decks with lots of ones and two ofs. I'm a little skeptical on three hapless aristocrat, but we'll, we'll, we're going to just play this and see how it goes. This deck looks pretty sweet. So here we go. Let's play some games. We're going to go play five games over in Ranked. No, balance changes are every four weeks. They're once a month. It's gonna be the it's gonna be the last week, last week of the month. So, um, so the twenty sixth, uh, Tuesday the twenty sixth is when it's gonna be, and it's once a month. The last week of the month. Previously, before this last set came out, it was once a month, but like in a middle week of the month but the the set came out at the last you know the set came out the last week of the month and so they're just just basically uh changed the um changed the schedule to have everything come out the last week of the month yeah i don't know i'm not sure exactly there will be changes but i don't know exactly what to expect I would say that Grizzled Ranger is... I don't know if, like, this hand's that... I don't know if these are the cards that I want in this matchup or not. We're just going to kind of figure out. I'd say, like, like, I don't know, maybe Grizzled Ranger would be on the watch list, but I don't... The thing about Grizzled Ranger is even though it, it, pro it probably deserves a nerf, it's kind of a ridiculous card. I also, with that being said, I don't really expect them to nerf anything that they just printed. I don't, I don't really feel like any of the new cards, like that they're going to nerf any of the new cards, but we'll see. I think they're going to change, I think they're definitely going to change language on some of the cards. There's been some, some language confusions with some cards. I do expect that to happen. Um... K Karma is on their watch list from their last... Uh, patch update two months ago. Karma was on the watch list. So that there could be a change there with Karma. Two weeks ago, aggro, you know, burnt aggro was kind of everywhere. Recently, just don't see very much burnt aggro, and it's not performing nearly as well. And so nerfing. At this point, nerfing Boom Crew Rookie does feel like a, a that, that may just like just completely kill aggro if you if you don't nerf other things. Hey Augustine. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for thanks for joining over here. Okay, your Exarch in Discord. Yes, I did get 
messages from yeah i did get see uh get messages from you yeah, in discord they want to have this block my two one that's fine would grizzled rangers still be good enough at five that's a good question that probably but five mana with demacia is where there's all that competition with like radiant guardian and um ooh, do i just glimpse beyond this if i glimpse beyond that they don't get to draw or sorry they don't get a three two mm. no it's probably not worth it I'm just gonna drain this thing. Yeah, uh, Silverwing, Garen, Garen, Radiant Guardian. There's Quinn. There's lots of good five drops. Okay, yeah, getting better, Karma Lux. Yeah, that's it's a real good deck. Um, I'm not sure if Rex is in here right now. But um, one of my mods, Rex, plays Karma Lux all the time. It's his deck of choice. Yeah, Grizzled Ra Yeah, maybe being at 5 mana would be better, because, yeah, gr hitting Grizzled Ranger off Remembrance would be awesome. So maybe it at 5 mana actually makes the card better. You pay, I fight. No! That thing's big. Block Swain. What are we going to do about this Minotaur Reckoner? What are we doing about that card? Yeah, mulliganing is one of the toughest things in the deck. Or in the game. In the deck. It is one of the toughest things in the game. I accept. Yeah, I mean, there's there's a lot of things that beat both Karina and Burn. There's a lot of things that beat basically all the decks. Uh, you kind of have to, you know, get to know your deck real well and, uh, you know, keep tuning it and, and stuff like that. None of these, none of these decks are perfect. This is a this is a difficult game to play. This game. You really can't make mistakes.
Hmm. Okay. So I lose out on one spider if I play Brood Awakening. Now I only have room for two spiders. Maybe I don't do that. Maybe I just attack with these house spiders. Alright, they're down to eight. We will make Ionia ours, or we will make it rubble. This land cannot be conquered. Probably should have just done that pre-combat and attack and just let these be at one toughness and then, you know, like Withering Will afterwards. My play of just go straight to attack is probably, probably wrong. I don't want to keep drawing more spiders. <laughs> Spider Swain. Draw me some other things. You know, two turns ago, all we had were spiders and withering will, and then we just draw another withering will, and then draw another spider. <laughs> it's like, come on, draw something else. Perfectly fine blocking with any of these things that can block. If we get that opportunity. Like, draw, like, Leviathan. Leviathan would be sweet. Indecision is the first of many. Hey, Resin. Seven out of twelve. If I play Withering Whale, we'll do four. So not not leveling up Swain yet. Sure. Conflict is all in the mind. So like that was the plan was to stun my Swain and then bounce it? That was the best plan we had. Might. I fight with the dragon's Well, that might's obviously really good. What is gained when you return the levelings? <laughs> wow, we are drawing bad. I don't know. I don't know. I guess I was kind of tilted by the draws. I need to think about that. All right, I just have not played this this first game very well, but. Because, yeah, I was definitely supposed to Withering Whale and then attack with all this stuff, wasn't I? Certainly looks like it. Yep, certainly looks like it. So 13 mana.
I'm doing great, Resin. Man, lots of viewers in here today. Welcome, everybody. I do you kind of feel like these, like the early streams, would just give I have more viewers in here? I think we have to just keep doing more early streams. These have been good. Just passing. Really? I certainly think I need to be more aggressive with these spiders. Like that, that previous turn. I played that previous turn incorrectly. Kindle are pretty cool. Oh no. No one is promised tomorrow. Now we're dead. Death is like the wind, always by my side. Now we're dead. I'm casting this withering will. I could have leveled up Swain for rekindler purposes. We need to draw that ruination. Ruination would be nice. Kill the hapless aristocrat, yay. Alright, Leviathan, that's what's up. can't risk um you know playing playing one of these things pre-combat and then they like use removal on my elise i can't really risk that i really you know need this to to happen i 
All right, so we got the Minotaur Reckoners out of here. That's big. All right, Swain, finish him off. Or not Swain, sorry, Leviathan. Let's go, Leviathan. You will reap what you have sown, Noxian. Victory. We can get multiple Swains in play by playing this Swain first and then rekindling, rekindling another. I guess it doesn't really matter though if Leviathan stays alive, it's just that's three points of damage. Right. What am I doing? No cure. We're going under. We burn. Then I fight with my spirit, not my fist. Our enemies would be foolish to underestimate you. We are at war. Well, they don't have any trick. They have to block with all, you know, all three of these have to block these th first three. Really hope they don't have a trick and the just combat just happens naturally. Really hope they don't have any spells. Yay! Well, that was very good. No. Hmm. All right, that game was pretty messy from a lot of angles for me. Didn't have. I don't know. Now I'm used to the deck, used to what we're doing. Here we go. There, there was that one turn that I really, that I really messed up by not playing that Withering Will and then attacking, and I think that that extra damage was what cost me that game. Now we're used to our deck, and got a good opener. GG's checkmate. Yep, GG's. Made a lot of mistakes that game. I, I don't know. Just wasn't. I'll try anyone. Guess I wasn't ready to play the deck. I guess, but we'll try to clean it up here. All right, let's see. So, Crimson Disciple is just a mean card to start with. I don't, 
I assume they're going to have a lot of burn. Is my assumption. And I probably can't just like take this damage forever from Crimson Disciple. So that's alright. I just traded Noxion Fervor for Mystic Shots. Yeah, that's a lot of burn. Perfect. That was a really great death sand. That saved me a lot of damage. So if I would have played Swain pre-combat, they would have played the Vladimir. Of course I'm ready. Yeah, Boom Crew Rookie is such a mess. Boom Crew Rookie is such a mess. Thanks, Mira. Thank you. So just from this, we're going down to seven, so I'm taking eight just from this attack trigger. Then all, yeah, everything else they have is dead besides Vladimir. Wish we had a leveled up Swain. You'll serve one way or another. Oh, marvelous. My we still attack for a lot. Is beneath the skin. Witness strength. 
Whoops. There we go. Here we go, attacking for a lot. No. That was weird. Weird life total bug. Alright, GG's, one on one. So it does feel like maybe we have even too many spiders. And could use some more could use a couple more spells, like you know, one or two less spider cards and one or two more spells for like removal, like the the Noxian cards. Uh, for removal to help Swain level up. That's what it feels like. It's not zero though, checkmate. Listening, listening to me play, because I do say cards in hand. So it's not. It's not. It's not like you don't have any advantage. I didn't know you you listened while while we were playing. That is having an unfair advantage. I guess I'll make, make this attack and then try to Vile Feast. It may not work out because they do have the mana. You know, they have like the one mana spell to give their thing tough. I guess I could play around that by playing Death's Hand instead of Vile Feast. But I can also just do the... I can do this play next turn or I have Withering Whale next turn. If they do have the, the one mana tough card. <laughs> You think this is a, a worse, like you've been playing this and you feel like it's been a worse version of Karina to you? I could see that. I like these Noxus cards though. They're pretty sweet. I guess having access to Vi is pretty sweet too. I want to draw more cards. Hmm. All right, I guess playing a Swain. We don't have to mind if, if Swain dies because of the Rekindler. If I attack there, they block with Garen, and then I death hand their, their Garen, but then they, they have a trick to keep um, Garen alive. I just gave them a strike with Garen. Bleh. 
Man, this is so rough. I, mean, I might as well try it, I guess. I mean, yeah, I, I mean, I, so basically I'm trading, if they do have a trick, I'm trading Skitter and Death's Hand for one trick. And they're, because their Garen just regenerates, so I don't even get any, man, don't even get any damage out. I guess I could have Noxion Fervored to play around that one. That's pretty rough. Yeah, there's definitely times that Rangers Revol Resolve can be a huge blowout. We had it like multiple times in the Scout Aggro deck where it didn't do anything. In like a Demacia mirror where their stuff was just bigger and you know Rangers resolved it and actually saved things. But it's like GG. Lead our charge. Demacia, now and forever. Destination in sight. Bring these lads to their knees. Follow my lead. Head to the base. Break their ranks. Batter them. Eat up, friend. I wish I could ravenous flock the Scythria. But of course we this Wayne's gonna be dead, so now that's not a ravenous flock anymore. Yeah, I like the music for the stage too. It's pretty epic. Ah, 
I'm already dead. Alright, one and two. <laughs> I just saw yours. Sorry, message. As an arachnophobe, you have one spider. It's too many spiders. to Demacia decks are tough Garen, Cythria cards are good cards are good see I'm just not so sure about like the whole frenzied skitter and hapless aristocrat I'm not sure about these two cards this is like the hapless aristocrat matchup. Burn. Alright, gonna get rid of the skitterer. Cool, get the Elise. Because, um, basically, if I didn't do anything on turn two, I didn't really want to just skitter on turn three. I'd want to play the Brood Awakening on turn three. And the. Skitter then would be like turn four, and you know, we're talking about a three two. It doesn't, it trades with one drops. Wasn't what I wanted to do on turn four. I don't bite. I can do this. I don't know. I'll try lowering the gain a little bit. I don't, I don't know. Oh, I mean, I should just attack with the other one, one, don't I? Shouldn't I? Because they just block one of them. Well, I didn't do can, it, can anybody else respond to what Harkus is saying? Any any sound problems? I hope not. I don't know why there would be sound problems. Okay, cool. Everybody else is saying it sounds good. Well, I just noticed we had 260 people in here. That is amazing. Welcome, everybody. Where's my axe? Uh, playing some Spider Swain. Gonna do some blocking. Okay, it sounds better now. I'll have to remember to kind of check that gain level. The best Lee Sin deck, in my opinion. Prob like, I haven't found a Lee Sin deck that I love, but I'm really excited about the deck that we're about to play after this Twisted Sin. That's what I'm calling it, you know, Twisted Fate Lee Sin. Before playing it, it would be... That's, like, my pick right now. I think it has a lot of potential. Hey, Valiant. So, yeah, just kind of stick around. We'll play that up next. I don't level up Elise, but we get the, you know, we block the most amount of damage. I could, I could not block the Demolitionist, and then we get to level up Elise. I think blocking all that damage is important because you know, like we're going into turn four, we don't get to play Brood Awakening anyway. I'm gonna be using Vile Feast to kill this Boom Crew rookie. <laughs> I 
Uh, we're playing the the Twisted Sin deck that we're playing is from uh, the same person that made this deck from Twitch Travels yesterday, Evangelion. Evangelion. I've played against that kind of deck quite a bit, and it looks good. And yeah, using their list. Alright, so we're going to Vile Feast that. Glimpse beyond this. And deal three damage. You dare. Leviathan's such a cool card. Well, that would have been good against Rookie, but I don't think we could just play this immediately. Or, like, you know, I don't think we could just wait. Oh, wow. Speaking of waiting. Hmm. So I have a backup Elise that, you know, like they block here. I'll just, you know, recast this as Elise, not the Crawling Sensation. I know what lurks in the shadows. And now that we've had a dead Elise, we could play Rekindler next turn and get another leveled up Elise. Boom crew rookie. That's probably my best play. I don't... Like, we're at 16. I think that's pretty safe. I don't think we have to Withering Whale. My opponent thinks that was the best play, too. Alright, back to 500. 2 and 2. And fifth and final game with Spider Swain. There you go, Swear Slow. You're almost there. Uh, it's basically the other way around, El Green. If you do, if you have, if you get Amazon Prime, then you get Twitch Prime for free. Doing Karma Lux. These threats just kind of aren't good enough against Karma Lux. Like, Karma Lux isn't losing to a Frenzied Skitter. It's not losing to a House Spider. I don't know. I mean, I could... It's still, like, a decent turn 1, 2, 3, though. I guess I'll just keep it and and see. And then if, if this doesn't work, which I'm skeptical this won't work, then I can complain. <laughs> Yeah, if you have if you have Amazon Prime, you just link you link it to your Twitch account, and then you get and then you have Twitch Prime. Um, as far as how to do that, uh, I would recommend look, looking up Google. But then also, if you just go to if you go to Amazon.com and then click the Prime tab, and then you yeah, if you just do that, then you kind of scroll scroll the middle of the page. You can do Twitch, yeah. And then there's a Twitch Prime thing there and all that kind of stuff. Of so yeah, just were. go to yeah, just go to Amazon, go to the Prime tab, link your Twitch account, and then with with Twitch Prime, uh, Twitch Prime's nice for 
a bunch of reasons. <clears throat> um, you get you get like free loot in game in different games. Like with this game, if you have Twitch Prime, you get a champion capsule with like a champion and an epic and stuff like that on in on like the the Twitch page. Man. So basically, I was scared of Remembrance, is why I didn't play one of these things pre-combat, because I didn't want them to Remembrance, and then I couldn't attack. But now they did Remembrance, the one that I did not want them to get was the Challenger that kills Elise. The other thing you get with Twitch Prime is you get a free sub to a streamer that could be me, which would be awesome. can also use it on anybody else uh, each month. You get to subscribe for free and so you get access to all the emotes you get to support us it's the same as doing a five dollar sub um on on like my end and uh, yeah you get to do that every single month yep i did pasty yeah, my old username had uh, MTG, you know, in the username, and I, I didn't want to have a username with any game in it. I think I'm just going to pass turn. So we're at Karma Lux. So I'm going to play Swain pre-combat pre so we get to attack with it. You know, like, if their plan is to play Karma... Then I'm hitting them with Swain, so that's that's good for me. I'm glad I didn't just Vile Feast also, so you know we had the room for that, and now we have the Glimpse Beyond. So let's put it, you know, makes it difficult for them to play Karma this turn. Whoa! Get that Surrender! Swain's pretty good. No, I've been playing Runeterra now since probably around like mid-February. So about three months now, like every day. All right, there we go. That's Spider Swain. Pretty sweet, pretty sweet deck. But as I kind of talked about throughout that deck, it did feel like we had just a little bit too much spider stuff. Like, you know, Hapless Aristocrat is fine. Maybe you just need two. It is kind of weird that we're only playing two Brood Awakenings, and I felt that way. I kind of feel like Frenzied Skitter should be a two of, and then maybe like Hapless Aristocrat a two of also. I think like that's what I'd rec like that's what I'd want to do with this deck is kind of trim one of each of those and get a little bit more of this kind of stuff. Like get a second Death Sand in there. That card looked good, and then another like another removal spell like a Vengeance to take out a bigger thing. You know, like against Demacia, you know, like you need to be able to take out their uh, big threats. So, like maybe like another Vengeance or something like that. Uh, what else we got? Could go with like another Noxion Fervor. Um, could play a Whirling Death. That card's pretty cool. Or a Noxion Guillotine. You know, just some something else kind of like that. And atro like Atrocity is not bad. I think I would go with a second Vengeance with this metagame. Because, you know, the Demacia decks, like with their Garens and Scythrias and stuff like that, you really want to kill. But then even like the deck we're just playing against, like you really want to kill like Karma and Lux. You really want to kill Vi. You know, like those kind of things. Like there's a lot of really great five and six mana champions running around. You know, lease in that it's just nice to have some you know with huge huge toughness that's really nice to have a spell that kills them um and basically noxion noxion guillotine is an option but it's just not reliable because you know you're not always going to get damage on lux and on leeson and stuff like that they have their barriers and they don't necessarily have to be in combat we're not challenging so noxion guillotine it's just not reliable and i think you just want to reliably 
be able to remove those things. But there we go. So that's Spider Swain. All right, we're going to be playing some Twisted Sin up next. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there and uh, leave those comments. Those likes and comments really do go a long way to helping the channel. Um, but that's all I got here. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.